Season's on the line and pride to play for. Welcome into sports. Tonight was a wild one across both Southern California and Arizona. Many local teams hitting the field and the basketball floor with the chance to move on hanging in the balance. And we're going to start with some boys hoops to Al Centro, the first of a doubleheader playoff night at Central Union High School, starting with the boys. Spartans hosting West Hills. First quarter, Spartans down a couple buckets. Ball getting whipped around to Jacob Vargas in the corner. Uses the pump fake to get the space in the baseline. Look at that pretty reverse land. For the two next trip down the floor, Jared Martin pushing it himself, and he goes right into the chest of the defender. Look at the length. The finger roll for two. Spartans take their first lead of the night. It would be tied after one quarter, now into the second frame. This kid would be a problem all night long. Zade Salem pulls one from way beyond the arc, splashes at home, lead back to the Wolfpack. But the answer would come quickly. Coming off the screen, beyond the arc, Seth Johnson with the stop and pop. He hits the triple. We're all knotted up again. Now Spartans looking to stop a Wolfpack run, and this won't help. That's Salem with the steal, and the six foot six senior rises up for the slam and then take a look at this sequence. Wolfpack in the move but Jacob Vargas, what a fantastic block. He's going the other way, looking to go coast to coast. The spin between the legs, he tries to lay it in, shot no good. Then there's a fight for the basketball and uh, Caden Aikens reels it in, tosses it up to a wide open Theron Humphreys for the two. Part of an 8-0 run forces a timeout from coach Deion State and the Spartans came out firing in the second half led by Jared Martin, but a 12-0 run from the pack ushered them to a big win, and the Spartan season comes to a close, losing 70-53. Now staying right in the same gym for part two, the second-seeded Lady Spartans in Division Four, welcoming in Hilltop for a trip to round two on the line. First quarter, Moya Garcia finds Maya McLean in the high post, and she swings it to the arc. Galilea Serrano connects from the triple to put the Spartans in front, Garcia again finding McLean in the high post, drives the bucket, it's no good, but Janelle Thomas right there to clean it up for the pair, the sophomore being ready. Now after a steal on the other end, Addison Zavala swings it to Michaela Gastelum. She buries the long ball for three more. Spartans come out hot in a 10-point lead, and it would take over five minutes before the Lancers would touch the scoreboard, and it comes right here. A three from Lillian Frierson, who nails the three to keep it close, but with the answer a little bit later, it's Serrano again, this time going to their left and flinging it off the glass for two. Lady Spartans would take an 11-point lead into the second quarter, and they would roll to a 30 point win. They move on to the second round, so who will they play on Saturday? Well, here's your answer. It happens to be another local squad. The Calipatria Lady Hornets pull off a tight one at home. Luna Cervantes banks in a game winner at the buzzer to send the Hornets to Central on Saturday for a little IV matchup for a chance to move on to the Division Four semifinals. More CIF playoff scores and girls hoops in Division Four. The top-seeded Palo Verde Yellow Jackets come away with a big win to move on 56-23. And in Division One, the Holtville Lady Vikings season comes to an end as they fall to San Marcos 59-33. More girls hoops. Clucksco Bulldogs, they move on with a 48-28 win over West Hills and the Brawley Wildcats season comes to an end falling at Granite Hills. Well, now we go over to uh, some hoops in the college level. Sorry about that. At Arizona Western College, the Matadors looking to get their 19th one of the season. Welcoming in the Pima College Aztecs. First quarter, Aztecs in transition. Luce Chavez finds Iona Johnson. Beyond the arc splash, Pima opens up the scoring with a triple. Now up by two, down by two. Matt's trying to respond to Crystal Ison taking it here near the top of the key. Puts it up for the two. We're tied up. Moments later, another give and go from Madison Zugna to Ison, who drives to the hoop, goes off the glass for the two. Hot start for Ison. He's got ice in her veins. Later on, Rosa Revueltas. She's going to go behind the back. Look at that. The Ison drives, finds Lime Okada. A nice sequence there. There's a deuce in the Lady Mats in the end, though. It'll be a tight game, but Pima would come in on the road, and they would take this one. 74-64, so a tough one for the Matadors to drop. Now we go to the earlier game on the men's side. AWC starting in the fourth quarter. Matt's up by six in a ginormous game for ACCAC standings. Axel Lendenborg is going to have the ball here, and he's going to find A.J. Marmalejos, who just rolls this up and in for the two. A-Dub goes up eight. 
And those two fired up big time here in the closing minutes. In the end, the Matadors would go on to win. And a tight one, 82-75 as you watch Lendeborg having some fun after the buzzer. Look at that. Matadors with a big win over Pima there, setting themselves up nicely with just four games left in the regular season. Now there's a lot more to get to on the boys and girls side of things in AIA and CIF playoffs that we did not get to. Uh, staying in CIF boys basketball, Vincent Memorial, the number one seed and Division 4, they're moving on with a win tonight. And in that same division, the number three seed Imperial Boy Tigers, they get a big 40-point win as they move on as well. Now moving over to the AIA real quick. A tough season ending for the Gila Ridge girls soccer team. They lose 8 to nothing, and then just a heartbreaker. The Cibola Lady Raiders girls basketball team falls by just 2, 39-37, the final there. What an incredible run for Coach Gergen and their team and Coach Cooper Cox and the Gila Ridge Lady Hawks. Great job. Congratulations to you all. We'll continue to follow the rest of the AIA and CIF throughout the rest of the week and into next week. Some teams really hoping to make some title runs. Well, that's all the time we have for sports. We'll be right back.